What's up, everybody? I'm the Nerf Modding Nerd, and this is Nerf News. Now, I'm really sorry there wasn't an episode of Nerf News last week, but as I explained in my Discord, I was super busy with school and traveling, and so I just didn't have time to record anything, but we're back here this week with two weeks of Nerf News. Also, I've discovered that I've accidentally been exporting all my videos in 480p instead of 4K, so from now on, all my videos should be in 4K. Anyways, first off, we actually have a picture of the Aeon Pro. This comes from Lord Draconical, and this is pretty much what we were expecting, a smaller version version of the Nexus Pro, which pretty much looks like a Avon fuzzy spamf. It's going to have a top priming handle, just like the Retaliator, except for this will probably be a good design, and then it is going to take a half dart magazine right in front of the trigger guard. The barrel does not have an in-strike barrel lug because this isn't a nerf blaster, but it does look pretty cool, kind of like a silencer-ish thing. Overall, I'm super excited for this. Again, this is going to be selling for $25 and is now available at Walmart. And next up, we have the Worker Talon magazines. Talon magazines are not inherently new, but Worker is coming out with some new 18 round curved clear Talon magazines. They're going to be selling them in these four colors, clear orange, clear blue, and then just regular clear and clear smoke is what they call the black one. And these are now available on their website for $7.50 United States, and I assume we'll be seeing them on sites like Out of Darts very soon. Next up, we have another Nerf bunker. This is the Nerf bunker chair, and it is designed to be both a bunker and a chair. So on the side like this, it is a bunker, but if you flip it up and down, then it is a chair, which they're claiming can support a human child. I wouldn't recommend getting on this if you are an adult, though, because it will probably pop. This will be selling at both Walmart and Target very soon for $20 United States. And next up, we have another couple Alpha Strike Blasters in a new set. The first of these is the Vanguard LR1, which is the large blaster on the left here. This is going to be a single shot blaster with a priming handle on the back, and then it also has a foregrip on the front, so you're supposed to hold it like a rifle and then prime it from the back, which is pretty weird, but we've seen that before. It is going to have 10 dart slots along the top, as you can see, that are going to be used to hold darts so that you don't have to put them in a pouch or something. And in addition to that, the other new one is the Optic QS4. This is pretty much a Fang QS4, except for it has a little bit more plastic and a scope, which is really weird to me because the Alpha Strike line is a budget line, but what they're doing is turning a blaster that was actually pretty good, in my opinion the Fang was pretty good, into something that is less good because it has a non-removable scope on the top, so I don't really like this. Also included in this pack are two Stinger SD1s, but we've seen these before and these are pretty much jolts, and this will have 20 Nerf Alpha Strike darts in it. I don't have a price on this yet, but it's likely going to be probably somewhere around $20. And this entire set is called the Infantry Pack, and I don't believe you'll be able to buy any of these blasters outside of this pack. And next up is the Mako RC8. We don't really have much information on this, but from the looks of it, it is going to be an 8-round cylinder blaster in the Alpha Strike series. That's kind of going to be an SMG style, even though it isn't a flywheel blaster, so it can't be really considered that. It is going to have a stock coming out of the handle, which looks pretty weird and is pretty short, and will be getting in the way of the rear priming handle, which you can see sticking out of the blaster here. It is also going to have a foregrip up front, just like the last blaster we covered, so it's intended to be held like an SMG, and and then primed from the back. It's going to have two scopes up top, which is again weird because this is a budget line, so they're trying to do as little as possible for gimmicks, but they are still trying to make these look cool, and frankly, I think these scopes do make it look pretty cool. Overall, this blaster, in my opinion, does look pretty decent, but I definitely will not be buying it because it doesn't seem practical at all, and I would have no use for it. I don't know how much this is going to be or when it's going to be coming out, but it's probably going to be around $15, knowing the Alpha Strike line. So that is going to be it for this episode of Nerf News. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share, and join the Discord in the link in the description box below, and I will see you guys in the next video.